Heritage and Indigenous Medicine, the Healing Properties of the Aloe, Eastern Cape. Now visits, our indigenous plants are also parts of our heritage. One of the most healing plants is the aloe. It grows wild in the Eastern Cape. It has been used for thousands of years to treat burns, sunburn, injuries and stomach problems. The San, Khoi Khoi and the Zulu use the plants for hundreds of years as a medicine and a body wash. Today we still use aloe to help heal skin wounds, burns and blisters and many other things. It is also used in lip, eyes and skin creams. Heritage in Architecture Stonewalled town of Karitwene, northwest. In the northwest province lie the ruins of one of the most important ancient African towns in South Africa. Now visits, it is the town of Harichwene. It is difficult to imagine what the place looked like when people lived there over 200 years ago. This description from an early European traveler said, The town stands on the summit of a mountain. Only a path presented itself to the wagon. The cattle crawls are bulls, cheerfully of stone and their houses are spacious the walls are usually decorated now wizards let's continue to look at natural heritage and indigenous knowledge system makonja mountains and bumalanga wizards the rocks of the makonja mountains around the town of babaton are some of the oldest in the world Scientists know that the rocks were formed about 3,500 million years ago. In these greenish-colored rocks, scientists have found many tiny fossils of the earliest forms of life. Traditional African religion and indigenous healing are part of indigenous knowledge system. Mountains like Makonja are believed to be sacred places. Heritage in Art, Sand Rock Arts in the Dragonsburg, KwaZulu-Natal. If you want to see real rock arts of the sand people, one of the best places to go is in the Dragonsburg Mountains. The Zulu name for these mountains is called Ugathlamba. It means a barrier of spears. Sand rock paintings are one of South Africa's greatest treasures Almost 40,000 different paintings have been found in over 500 caves and shelters in the mountains. These paintings tell us of the rich spiritual beliefs of hunter-gatherer people. Many are paintings of what shamans say when they went into a trance to harness the healing power of sacred animals like the inland. They also remind us of the tragedy of the sand people whose lives were destroyed and their culture completely destroyed by expanding European settlers.